Thank you all for tuning in once again. It is your boy Green Leaves Grower. In this video, I'm going to be breaking down the harvest, dry, and cure of the do -si -do Gorilla Glue Number no. 4 and the Banana OG. Make sure you watch to the end of the video because the giveaway winners will be announced. And enjoy. So we're going to be feeding with the Vega Matrix 523 Grow and the 154 Bloom. Going to be giving them a half gallon each. They're in 10 gallon pots and that's what we're going to be doing. So let's get after it. Starting like this. Okay, so we're gonna be doing one tablespoon per pot. Cause we all we also are using the Vega Matrix Bloom seven milliliters uh, per half gallon. And that's how we're gonna water this in. Try to lay it out nice and even on the topsoil and then we'll work it in. And you do wanna turn your fans off when you're using this. It's very, very fine, like granular and it will blow everywhere so you definitely want to have your fans off so there's that one and now we come over here and this might take a little bit to break down too so that's why i'm that's why i'm gonna do it now and we're week four or week five flower so this is a good time to do it i'd say week Anywhere from week four to like week six or seven would be a good time to use a bloom boost. Um, once they're really focused on making buds and fattening up, that'd be the time to do it. So I'm just using a rubber glove because my hands are kind of sweaty and I think it would be a little bit easier. It won't stick to me quite as much. And these plants definitely could have got watered yesterday. As you can see, they're like bone dry, but we worked that in pretty well. This kind of just prevents it from like flying everywhere when you're watering and you end up losing like half of the amendment. So it's good to kind of mix it in.
So we're going to be watering today. We're going to be giving them a half gallon of regular dechlorinated tap water with no added nutrients, but we are going to be putting a little bit of the Vega Matrix Fire. We're going to be putting two milliliters per half gallon, and this is a microbial inoculant, and it will help break down some of the nutrients that we already have in the soil. Put that shit in overdrive, full throttle, plus it up. Way out in ocean side, hundred bottles, hundred slugs. Noise complaints, names, bitch, pay them off, all the sentence, fight for it, all forget. Y'all kids, all in. I done done this time, get your count, hold me up, get your life, get your life, build a pound, charge it up. Water bottles, fight with drugs, bitch, the prayer, not the club. Bag a bitch, but can't go on, y'all are talking, all in up, thought it through, and care. Alright, guys, so here we are, day 61. And what I'm gonna be doing right now is removing some of these fan leaves, or actually most of the fan leaves that don't have any trichomes on them. Um, we're probably gonna be taking down the do -si dos I would say day 64, so three more days from now. We have the AC cranked. It's been about 71 degrees in the tent. Nice cool temperatures and uh, we're letting them finish up. But I just wanna remove a lot of these fan leaves. As you can see, the banana OG over here on the front side. I was using the Vega Matrix nutrients and top dressing with the Bloom Boost and everything. And the last couple weeks, uh, these definitely got burned. This is definitely nutrient burn. I'm gonna go through and I'm just gonna get rid of all these kind of dying leaves because I don't want them to stink up the buds and make them smell like they dried out too quick or anything like that. So we're gonna go through, clean it up a little bit and we'll see what we're looking like. All right guys, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start cutting off some of these buds. We're gonna throw them into the trimming bowl. Basically, you want your buds to be dry enough that they are gonna be able to knock off the dried fan leaves pretty easily. We're gonna go for about 10 or 20 rotations in the trimming bowl, depending on how they're looking. And this strain is do -si -do, so it's gonna be a little bit easier, I think, to trim. There's not too much uh, leaf material on there, so. Should be good.
now for the final yield we ended up with 222 grams or 7.9 ounces the banana og we had two plants of one of them only yielded about 14 grams that was the plant with the nutrient burns this definitely affected our yield a lot gorilla glue ended up with 69 and the dosi -si dough came in at 72 grams and now we have three giveaway winners, the TS600 and the ILGM winners. So the TS600 is going to go to NPK420. And for the $179 discount code, we have Cayenne Peppa. Congratulations. And then for the last winner, we have a $79 code. And that is going to none other than... Tattoo McGee. Tattoo McGee wins the $79 code to ILGM. So congratulations to all of our winners and thank you guys for the continued support on all of my videos. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to smash that like button and subscribe. We'll have more giveaways coming soon. We also have the Tropicana Cookies update videos. So thank you guys so much for the support and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.